Hey guys, I'm going to talk about the notify icon and the notify icon is basically your system tray icon except it's a bit more than that. It allows you to do things like display balloon tips and have access to a context menu, stuff like that. So the first property in the notify icon object is the balloon tip icon and this icon is the icon that is displayed in the balloon tip when you want to show a tip. Um, and then there's the balloon tip text and that's the text that's in the uh, balloon like a message that you want to show the user and then there's the balloon tip title that's the title of the message that should be right next to the icon and then there's your context menu usually you want to show things like quick settings show or exit the application and you you need to set your icon or the notify icon will not be visible or selectable in any way and I've just chosen a icon that I have on my computer and the text is the text that is displayed when the user leaves their mouse over the system tray icon and then there's visible and you're going to use this property to hide and show the notify icon okay so let's start off with minimize to tr minimizing your form to the tray let's open up this button handler here and I'm simply hiding the form or you want to hide all of the forms in your program at least and then you're going to set the visible property of the notify icon to true to make it visible and selectable. So let's take a quick look at that. So I'm going to minimize to tray and I'm going to go down to the system tray here. You'll notice that when I leave my mouse or over the system tray, the text application name is displayed, which is, should be the name of the application. And then when I right click, I've got the exit and show options. And you have an option to reopen your app according to, to like a double click or a single click. I chose a double click just because that's the way I want it. It's however you feel you should have it. I'm going to move on to minimizing the tray when closing the application and that simply says that when this checkbox is checked and you go to exit the application the application doesn't actually close it just gets minimized. And This is very common in programs these days. So let's take a look at that logic. Okay, so I've registered to the form one closing event and within this form one closing event I'm checking to see if the tray exit checkbox has been checked and if it has been checked I want to set the e cancel property to true which says that you should cancel the uh, form closing property ultimately leading to the application not exiting and then you want to hide the current form and show the notify icon like you usually would. Let's reopen up the app here and then we've got the option in this form here to show a balloon tip. I'm going to click on that and you'll see down in the right hand corner it says just so you know your computer is going to explode. For the message box or that balloon tip to show you first have to show the notify icon. So I'm first showing the notify icon okay this is it right here so show balloon click I'm showing the notify icon and then I am showing the balloon tip for 10 seconds I registered to the uh, notify icon event it's called the balloon tip closed event and when the balloon tip closes I'm setting the notify icon visibility to false so that the notify icon is no longer visible when I don't need the balloon tip visible. So yeah, you can set all the balloon tip options programmatically and then show the balloon tip whenever you please as long as the notify icon is shown. You may also want to minimize the form to tray. Some programs do this, but it's not common.